or so, or uh, three hours or so while, while you guys riding in the van. Just write one or two things uh, that, you know, who is your leader? Who is your leader? I mean, who is uh, Debbie? Who is Hansel? Who is Steven? Who is Kenny? Who is Nathan? Who is Chitra? One or two things. I'll give you one or two minutes, okay? Heartless. <laughs> <laughs> try, try to say something nice. Because uh, Yukio, what do you think about Kenny? I didn't get to finish yet. It's ugly. It's okay. One thing is fine. Money and a good person. Oh, okay. oh. Oh. And he looks like me. Yeah. Uh, you laugh at like him. He laughs at the good person yeah. part. Oh, oh, what do you think about Coke Kenny? Like, he is funny and, and he is nice. Oh. Oh. Wait, so the, many funny, ends. the funny you is your personality you. or the looks? Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's funny. Ethan, what do you think about Coke Kenny? He's nice. He's nice. No, like those are actually a book. It's like candy on here. All right, all right. All right, you guys. Eric, what do you think about Nathan? Good to be with. Funny. Good to talk with. A good role model. All right. Wow. Hey, you forgot one. I love your shirt. I love the professor. I know. All right, Michael, what do you think about Nathan? Funny. All right. Um, <laughs> Vicky, what do you think about Che Chitra? He's nice and sassy. He likes to beat him. Oh, <laughs> he's not at all. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Uh, Valerie? Not done. Not done? <laughs> oh, she got, no, she got a list. She's trying to try not done. Just one thing. Just one thing. <laughs> Valerie, just one thing. I'm just one thing. It's fine. I'm very done. I'm boring too. Well, huh? Just one thing. Just one thing. It hurts, right? You did it to me. Awesome. I did, I did awesome. Awesome. Okay. Debra, what do you think about Chi Chi Tra? She has a sister that she doesn't like us jumping on her bed. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Alicia? She will jump on her bed. Like, no, no, no. Alicia, what do you think about? Okay. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Uh, Brianna, what you think about Che Chitra? It's nice and funny. Okay. Now, uh, Chimonic, uh, Chimonic group, uh, starting from you. You think? I said she's a caring and nice person. So kind of okay. Gabby. Um, she's nice and she's pretty. So it's pretty and nice. Oh, oh okay. Oh. <laughs> and she's taking. Oh, Caitlin. Oh, it's my turn already? Oh, so skinny. Um, she's very nice. She's prepared with lots and lots of snacks. Oh. <laughs> I'm not finished, people! Whoa. So you have two bags of snacks, man. Nice, like, really smart. And also a good role model. And well, she is. I'm not finished. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Uh, Grace. Very nice and good leader and Marcella, right? She's a woman. She's nice, smart, and. She's a woman. Yeah, she's a woman. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. She's baby group. Uh, starting for Marion. Um, she's a great piano player. She's cute and she's. Alright. Oh, she's cute. Okay. Oh, she's uh, I say she's quiet, she's a musician and encourager. She's not oh. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean, yeah, I never <laughs> talked to her. <laughs> Your pants on fire. You don't know. Uh, <laughs> Ellis? <laughs> she's small and she... What's the other one? What's the other one? She's funny. She's funny. Okay. She's small and she's funny. funny. She's funny. She's funny. She's funny. She likes cute stuff. <laughs> Kind and caring. All oh, right, yeah. Stephanie. What do you think about oh, today? She's pretty, and pretty and responsible. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's she lost the first. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you think about Hansel, guys? It's okay if you lie. Smart. He's unique. <laughs> no. <what? laughs> that's it. My team unique. Is unique? <laughs> a lot. That's a unique. What is that nice and unique. Okay, Michael, what do you think about handsome? Nice and and fun and unhandsome. Oh! 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 Oh!
is all a nerd. Uh, yeah. what, what do you say? Oh, a nerd. A nerd. A nerd. Okay. Uh, nerd. Okay, what Anything else? else? <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Nope. No, no, there's no, more. That's just hard. Um, if just you kick you out of his brain, strong and mature, and some here. Is like, mature? Okay, that's strong, good. Brave and smart. That's good. All right. Strong, brave and smart. All right, guys. Hey, uh, you guys have a nice thing to say to your leaders. <laughs> um, you know, like your leaders. You guys mentioned about your leaders. You know, there's a lot of description about how you describe someone, right? Uh, although you say that she's awesome, she's cool. Um, I bet each and every leaders, if if you ask them what do you want, what, what do they want to be known the most, they probably have something else. Uh, to say something else that more important for them, you know, if, if people say that, hey, you know, uh, Korosit is awesome, I go like, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's not that's not that's not what I want to be known the most, you know. I, I you know I want to be known as as a good father, good husband, you know. I want to be known as 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 uh, 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 as your pastor, your You're friend, a good for someone that someone that gonna be there for you you know I want to be known that that's that's gonna be more important for me rather than you know just cool and, and, and you know uh, good looking and we didn't say that <laughs> anyway but when it comes to Jesus who is Jesus you know son of Christ son of Christ who is Jesus father, father? who is Jesus counselor who is Jesus perfect huh? Person who died for us. Who is Jesus? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Who is Jesus? You know, there's a lot of description in Bi in the Bible. Who is Jesus? You know, he he even said that I'm a good shepherd. I am I am the resurrection and the life. I am uh what else? The way, the truth, and the life. You know, there's a lot of description. But but I'm just trying to guess. I'm just trying to guess if he uh, talked to you. He wants to be known the most as probably God and your savior. He wants to be known the most as God and savior. Everybody say God and savior. God and savior. You know, because you have a lot of people around you. You know, a lot of people believe that Jesus uh, was born in, in, into this world 2,000 years ago. A lot of people believe. Although the non-Christian people, they believe that Jesus was born 2,000 years ago, but they believe him as like a, a good man, as a, a, a godly man, as a teacher, as a prophet, you know, they believe that. But they don't believe Jesus as God and Savior. I, see, this is what I think that God wants you and me know. Did I spit on you guys? <laughs> So I bet, I bet, uh, you know, I bet that uh, just, just, Jesus just, just, wants you just, just. to know that He is God and Savior. Now I want you to open up your Bible, and your leaders will will help you out. We're just gonna take your time. If you haven't found it, I'm gonna wait for you. Uh, open up your Bible in Colossians one, verse fifteen. Colossian, uh, Colossian, uh, one, Colossian and Indo. Colossian 1 verse 15 and your leaders can help you out. If you want to know what God looked like, if you want to know what God looked like, look at Jesus. That's basically what it means. If you want to know what God looked like, look at Jesus. I don't mean I don't mean to be like what 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 does God look like? I don't mean like long hair or short hair or, or you know. But but if you if you think about this earth, right? God created the earth. You know, this 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 big galaxy, this a lot of and we are just the tiny bit uh, of, of this a uh, human being that live on the earth but yet God cares about us, God loves us, God knows our name and if you want to know that God, if you want to know that God, the God that cares about you, the God, God that loves you, you just look at Jesus. That's what this verse says. If you want to know what God looks like, look at who? Jesus. Jesus. If you are healthy, if you're still breathing, if you can have food to eat every day, God provide for you. If you want to know who is that who is that God who is so good to me? Who is that God who is so nice to me? Who is that God that, that care about me? If you want to know what God look like, look at Jesus. Jesus is the image of the invisible God. You know, if you want to know that how does God love me? You just read about Jesus. You, you just look at Jesus in the Bible. That's um, the way Jesus love you. That's the way God love you. Jesus is the is the invisible uh, is the image of the invisible God. Now here's another uh, 
Now, how do we know that Jesus is God? How do we know that Jesus is God? We have a lot, like hundreds and hundreds of proof in the Bible that Jesus is God. But, but I want to show you this one proof that Jesus is God. Again, open up your Bible in Matthew 20, uh, verse 17 to 19. Matthew 20, verse 17 to 19. Matthew 20, 17 to 19. Matthew chapter 20, uh, verse 9, 17 to 19. Okay, so Jesus was walking with his disciples, 12 of them, and they just gonna put it up, uh, put, uh, you know, bring them aside and hey guys, uh, you know, I wanna tell you something. I wanna tell you something. Verse 18, someone please. Uh, Eric, go ahead. We are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priest and the teacher of the law. They will condemn him to death. He said that, hey guys, guys, I want to tell you something, uh, says Jesus to the 12 disciples, that we're going to go up to Jerusalem, and basically there's going to be a group of people that are going to arrest me, that, that, that's going to arrest me, you know, they're going to, they're going to, um, uh, arrest me they're gonna punish me and they're gonna they're gonna kill me uh, Jesus is predicting the future you know this is before everything has happened and Jesus already told him that uh, told the disciple that he's gonna be uh, arrested and he's gonna be uh, sentenced to to death uh, first 19 you kill please um, Jesus says that, you know, I'm going to be arrested, I'm going to be tortured, they're going to beat me up, they're going to put me on the cross, and I'm going to die for three days, and then on the third day, I'm going to be alive again. You know, Jesus predicting the future, and as you know, in the Bible, if you read your Bible every day, you will find that uh, Jesus predicted his future over and over again. He, he, he didn't just predict his future one time, but he predicted that he's going to die and he's going to rise again. So I think this alone can be a proof that he is God, you know. I don't think, you know, there's a lot of people maybe like, like I don't know, the, 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 the fortune teller or whatever, you know, although don't trust the fortune teller because if they still ask for your name, don't trust them, okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, Jesus, is everything okay back there? I, I want you guys to, to, to pay attention here. So, so I think if you, you know, I think that alone is, is a proof that Jesus is God. You know, how many of, how many people that live today or, or before or ever live that can predict when he's going to die exactly and that can guarantee on the third day he's going to be alive again. You know, this is not a fairy tale. This is not a, 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 a myth. This is not urban legend, you know, the urban legend. Uh, this is actually history. You know, like the history that you learn in school. Um, how? What do you learn in your history class? Can someone tell me? What do you learn, Kim? Um, in history class, I learned about World War. World War. Two, one, no, okay. No, no, what What else do you learn, America. Deborah? Um, Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Okay. Slavery. Um, Slavery. You learn about Native yeah. American. Native American. Okay. Um, Slavery, okay. Yeah, just like the history in, in at your school. How do you know that your teacher is telling the truth? You can, uh, how do you know? Watch a movie. You can watch a movie, okay. It's in the book. It's in the book, okay. Uh, you trust your teacher. Alright. <laughs> you don't even tell them the truth, you read it somewhere else too. And it lines up. Okay, how do you know if your teacher, your history teacher is telling the truth? Uh, who else? I want someone that never answered before. Uh, Kenny. Go to the museum? Yeah, exactly. You can go visit the place that actually where it happened, you know. Or, or if it's like the World uh, War II, it's not long ago, you can actually talk to some people that's still alive right now and they can tell you what happened, right? They can tell you that the World War II is really happened uh, before. So I want you to prove that, that, that um, when Jesus resurrected from the death, some people um, saw him. Some people talked to him. Some people actually eat together and hang out with him. Uh, again, open up your Bible in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 to 6. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 to 6. 
sins, that Christ died for us, for our sins, according to the scriptures. So the writer of Corinthians say that, I pass on to you, this is the most important thing that you should know, that Jesus Christ has died for our sins. Uh, just like the Bible says, just like the scripture says, verse 4. Um, I want, go ahead, Josh. Verse 4. Um, Verse 4. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. He said that this is the most important, that Jesus Christ has died for each and every one of us. He was buried. He was buried in the tomb. Uh, people saw it, you know, and he was raised again from the dead on the third day. And verse 5. Uh, Theresia, go ahead. And that he was seen by Cephas and then by the twelve. Okay. Um, he was seen by Peter and then uh, Cephas, uh, Cephas or Peter. Uh, or uh, he was seen by the twelve disciples. And for six, where else? Uh, for six? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Tita. After that, he was seen by more than 500 of his followers. At one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. There you go. So not only Peter that saw Jesus rose again from the dead, not only the 12 disciples that saw Jesus rose again from the dead, but it says how many people? Over 500. 500 people. Over 500 people saw Jesus rose from the dead. 500 people guys saw Jesus rose from the dead 500 people saw that the tomb was empty and 500 people saw that Jesus dead on the was you know was dead on the cross and then five over 500 people saw that Jesus rose again from the dead on the third day now I want to ask you if I said that this morning when I went to Starbucks I saw Michael Jackson. Woo. How many of you know that Michael Jackson has passed away, right? Okay. You know Michael Jackson yeah, has passed away. Yeah, that would be awkward if he wrote off the death. If, like, if, if this morning I went to Starbucks and I told you that Michael Jackson, I saw Michael Jackson this morning, would you believe me? No. No. Why? Yes. Why? Because they might look alike. <laughs> oh, they might look, okay. Well, I said Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, the, 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 the singer, Michael Jackson, the, the, the king of pop, they say. Uh, what is oh. Oh, oh, okay. So, um, would you believe me if I said I saw Michael Jackson this morning? Yes. Oh, no, you're my pastor. Maybe. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. <laughs> if 500 people this morning saw Michael Jackson, is it just me, if I don't believe it, who, who refuse to believe? Or is the 500 people, you know, lying together, you know? The chance is those 500 people, you know, they, they, they're telling the truth. Only that, that whoever that don't want to believe, whoever that refuse to believe in the history, they're the one that refuse to believe in Jesus. Jesus was alive. He is God by proving that I can tell you when I'm going to die. I can tell you that on the third day, I'm going to be alive. So that's the first thing that I want you to know, that He is God. Say, Jesus is God. Jesus, Jesus is God. Now, the second one, before I let you go, I want you to know this as well that Jesus is our Savior. Say, Jesus is my Savior. Jesus, Jesus is my savior. savior. Now the question is, why do we need a Savior? You know, why do we need to be saved? Why? Ooh. From our sins. Um, from our mistakes we have done from the past and the present. Yep. And yep. especially on the future, too. Yep, yep. That's a good answer. Uh, uh, um, because we were bound by law. Bound by law, okay. Um, Ethan? Uh, from the devil. You, we mm -hmm. need to be saved from the devil, okay? Because the devil is, you know, lie to you, they not telling you the truth, so you'll you be doing something that, that you're not supposed to be doing. I want you to open up in Romans 3, verse 23. Romans 3, verse 23. Uh, chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short and fall short of the uh, glory of, uh, of, uh, of the glory of God. Uh, Stephanie, if you can help me out, please. Romans 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So the Bible said that we all have sinned. Every one of us have sinned and we fall short of the glory of God. 
what is the glory of God? Why we are fall short of the glory of God? The glory of God is just mean that God is perfect. God is great and God is perfect. And since none of us, none of us is perfect, that's why we are short of the glory of God. We are short of, of, of you know, God's perfect perfectness. So that's what it means that we all cannot be like God. That's why we need to be saved and we still sin. You know, I, I can prove you that we all sin. You know, how many of you disobey your parents before? Almost every one of you. For those of you who doesn't raise your hand, you're not telling the truth. And that's another <laughs> sin, right? <laughs> now, who, who cheated on the task before? You know, well, your parents is not here. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell. You know, how, how many of you steal something before? Just stole a big toy from a dollar. Actually, Claire's. I stole a hair from the teacher. Oh, I like that. We all, we all have sinned. That's why we need a savior. We need someone to save us. You know, we all have sinned. How many of you told a lie before? You know, you told your parents you're going to be sleep, sleeping over over your friend's house. You're actually going to camping. You know, that kind of lie that's actually fun. That's fine, you know. That's a good lie right there. So that's not a lie, okay? Uh, that's the holy sin. That's what. No, no, no. Sin is a sin. You know, there is no... Sin is a sin. There's no small sin. There's no big sins. There's, there's you know, sin is a sin. That's what we need. Uh, to, to be safe. Sin only come in one size and every one of us have sinned. That's why we need a savior. You know, someone needs to save us. Why? Because if no one save us, we all gonna die. Meaning that we all gonna be, we all gonna die and we all gonna be punished for our sin, for our mistake. That's why when Jesus come, he died on the cross, he lived a sinless sin and he died for us on the cross. Then that's mean for those who believe in Jesus as a Lord and Savior, he will be saved. That we are saved, we will be forgiven from our sin. And one day, one day, when you die, when I die, this is what it says in John 11 verse 25. John 11 verse 25, this is the last verse and we're going to pray after Today, this. Today, if you say that, you know, Jesus, I want to take you as my God and my Savior. He's going to forgive us from our sins. He's going to save us. And then one day when we all die, our body die, but our spirit will live forever. Our spirit will just, you know, chill out in heaven and, and hang out with Jesus. That's what <laughs> He promised us. So, I, I want, I want, I want, all of us to, to you can stay uh, sitting down but close your eyes and we're gonna declare together uh, today although you you know maybe you maybe you say this before in the past maybe you never say this uh, before maybe this is gonna be your first time saying this but everybody um, we all just gonna say it together and we're gonna declare it together okay you guys ready yeah. say Jesus Jesus, Jesus. From today, From today, I will declare, I will declare that, you are my God. that you are my God. You are my Savior. Are my savior. I know I'm a sinner. I know because of my sin, I should be punished. But thank you for loving me. Thank you that you have died for me on the cross. Thank you through your death and resurrection that I believe today my sin has been forgiven. Since you have died for me, since you, me, since you have forgiven me, I will give my life to you, Jesus, and I will trust in you alone. And from this moment on, I declare again that you are my God and my Savior. I want to live my life for you. I don't want to live my life in sin anymore. I believe and I put my faith in Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, every one of us says, Amen. Amen. Ask I mean, uh, Thank you guys. Yes. Yes.